Yes, this is a video I've been looking forward to do for a long time. And DigitalOcean recently released a feature called Load Balancers. You can finally do load balancing on your server droplets on DigitalOcean. And I can't wait to show you guys how great this feature is. And for those of you who are new to a load balancer, I can give you a quick introduction on what it is. Now, why would you need a load balancer, you ask? The main reason for load balancers is that it allows you to horizontally scale your application infrastructure. Let's say you only have one application server, and one day, one of your blog posts hits Reddit, and all of a sudden, you're getting 1,000 times your normal traffic. Your website starts to slow down, and before you know it, it's totally down. Imagine if your site sells a product the loss in traffic will cause a huge loss in potential new business and new customers. So what can you do? You can vertically scale up your application server by upgrading the hardware specs such as CPU, RAM, and storage to see if you can handle the sudden increase in traffic. But the fact is, this is expensive and not easy to do, and there's a limit to how much your hardware can add on a single machine. The better solution is to add more application servers with the same specs and scale horizontally as the traffic increases. Server providers like DigitalOcean allow you to start a server with the same spec in less than a minute. So let's say you have one single server and you want 10 copycat servers. You can do that very easily with DigitalOcean with a few clicks away. They will all be the clone of your first server and they all are ready to do the same work. Now this is where load balancers come in. You can put a load balancer in front of your server and have the load balancer talk to your visitors. Well, load balancers are well optimized to take traffic and redirect them to one of your 10 servers. So when a user requests to your website, the load balancer will perform an algorithm, usually a round robin algorithm, to pick which server to serve to the user. This way you have instant scalability and availability. So what if your site is on TV, radio, not a problem. You can clone more servers and have them register to a load balancer and you're ready to go. So this is a basic uh, introduction to load balancer and let's do a hands-on example of how you can create one using DigitalOcean. If you don't have a DigitalOcean account, use the link in the description below or in the article and you can sign up for the service and get $10 off on your hosting service. It's really cheap and I highly recommend it. So once you sign in, you can click on create droplet screen and here you can create servers very easily. So I just want a quick LAMP server, meaning a server that contains Linux, Apache, Nginx, and uh, MySQL and PHP. But I'm not gonna use Apache, I'm just gonna use Nginx because I like Nginx a little better. Um, Huh, it seems like this is a bad timing for my tutorial because their server seems like, oh, never mind. So, you can click on create droplet here. And then click on one click apps. So, I'm just going to pick LAMP on Ubuntu 16.04. This will give you Linux, Nginx, MySQL, and PHP pre-installed with one click. I'm going to pick the cheapest one, $5 a month for the server, and I'm going to be picking New York City. So here you can just name it LB test, and I want three servers, so I'm just going to click it three times, and it'll have three servers ready to go. And then I just click on create button, and this will create the servers for me. So to save some time, I've already did that, so if you haven't done this is the first time you do it. You have to wait about a minute or two for the servers to create, to be created, and then check your email for a password to the server. Now I already done that, and I have the IPs ready. So you you can pause the video to wait for your droplets to start. Now once you have your servers ready, you can SSH into it by doing SSH root at the IP address. Now if this is the first time you logging into the server, it will 
you can check your email for the password and this will be the password for the server now if it's the first time you log in you have to reset your password and input your own password so now I'm in the server one let me open two more tabs and do the same for the other two servers I'm going in this example I'm going to create three servers and we will use the load balancer to round robin the traffic into each of them so same thing you do ssh root at the server address put in the password and then this is the third one ssh root at ip okay once you're in the three servers we have to edit the HTML file, the index HTML for the servers. Now by default DigitalOcean puts your HTML file in var www.html. So if we go to var www and then there should be an HTML folder. In here this is your index HTML. So we're going to modify index HTML a little bit. You can use your favorite program to edit this. I'm going to use by so in here, I'm just going to do a big H1 that says hello from server 1. Just a visual indicator of what server am I on. So you can save this. And I will do the same for the other two servers. So this is going to be server 2. It seems a little laggy because my internet connection is not so great here. And then I'm going to do the same. Okay, great. So now the HTML file for each server should be set up to say hello. So if I go into the app one's IP address in the browser, it says hello from server one. And then if I go to app two's IP address, to say hello from server two. And then if I go to the third one, to say hello from server three. So now we have all three servers set up and they're very different from each other we are going to set up a load balancer.